guys. Um, a couple of videos back I tied the um, Connemara Black uh, Malone version. I'm going to tell you the O'Reilly version. And this is just a, basically it's a far simpler aid version. Just because there's no built wing um, on this wee fly. So the hook and the vise is a C6 Partridge Patriot single in black nickel. I'm going to use a Uni Thread 801 Black to tie the fly. So I'm just going to come in and get my thread started up behind the eye of the hook. I'm just running on my thread until it drops off where the wire is bent around to form the eye. I'm going to trim away my thread. The first part of the tag is oval silver tinsel. And this is just an oval silver tinsel and small. So I'm just going to come in and catch that in. There, and then just keeping it on my side of the hook. Just simply run your thread down, tying this in. I'm just going to bring my thread down until I'm in the middle between the point and the barb of the hook. Then I'm going to work my thread back up until I'm at the let my bobbin go and my thread's in line with the point of the hook. Now I'm going to come around with around six turns, five, six turns of the oval silver tinsel. Follow this around with my thread. Get a couple of tight turns in just to secure in the oval silver. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the excess. Now I'm just going to work my thread up that I want the length of the next part of the tag, and that's going to be a uni floss in light orange. Suppose you call this a variant. If you have a hot orange, or just a, an orange floss you could use it I do have that but I think the wee fly looks better with the the light orange floss so I'm just working my floss down to meet the oval silver tinsel tag and then I'm just going to work my floss back up again follow this around with my thread and we'll just catch that in nice and tight and then I'm going to come in trim away the remainder of the floss. Now the tail's in two parts. The first part is golden pheasant crest feathers or feather. I'm just using two just to boost the colour. Just give it a wee bit of beef. Now this has been dyed a fluorescent yellow. So I'm just going to come in, just come around a couple of turns just to see what way we're, we're sitting. Just pull it into the length that you like. I'm just going to tighten up. And I'm just going to come in and clip away the excess. The next part is a sub Indian crow substitute. Just already prepared this to strip some of the, the fibers off. You just want this coming sort of way. Halfway into the tail or slightly less. Just follow this around with my thread. Right, I'm just going to hold the tail and just run on my thread up. Tying in the in the encro substitute in the cut end of the golden pheasant crest feather. and tight the whole way up. Bring away the stem. And the way back down we'll catch in our rib. And that's just another length of the oval silver tinsel and small. We'll just catch it in where we're caught in the oval silver tinsel for the tag. And then keeping it on my side. I'm just going to run it down. I'm going to bring my thread down tight up against the tail now at this stage. Nice and tight. Now, the body is just black seals fur. Seals fur dyed black. That's it here. And what we're going to do is we're going to dub halfway up because we have a body haggle. And we're going to bring halfway down into the wee dressing. So, just dub on some of the some of the seals for it. 
catch this in. And we we'll can this out of the way. And we we'll can work our thread up with our dubbing on it. And you can tighten as you go. Up to there. Anything that's going forward, just sweep it back. I'm going to bring the thread now. On up. About 5 or 6 mil. And I want to catch in the body haggle. And this is just a black cock saddle haggle. We're just going to catch this in forward of the eye. Just nice and tight. I'm just going to come in and trim it. Just down to where we finished the seals fur in the middle. Then we're going to come back in with another wee drop of our seals fur. Stub that onto the thread. And then we can work this back down. Right into the middle. Then we'll come down with our cock saddle haggle. I just like to get two turns going at the shoulder of the fly. And then you're looking three or four turns down the body. The ear, keeping the whole ear tip. Just come through with your thread. And fairly open turns the whole way up. You get up to a stage, just sweep everything back. Bring your thread to the eye. Just come in with our scissors, trim away the hackle tip. Just come in and open this wee hackle up. Then we'll come up with our oval silver tinsel. Now you're probably looking five, six turns here of the oval silver tinsel up the body. Just move it in and out of your body hackle. I'm going to catch too much of the fibers in, sweep everything back, bring your thread up or your oval silver tinsel up in front, follow this around with your thread and just get nice tight turns in just to secure this in. Then you can come in and trim away your access your oval silver tinsel. Now if you've caught any of the fibers in you can just come in with a wee bit of velcro and just brush out some of the some of the fibers. Tighten up. Now, the next part of the fly traditionally is blue jay. I don't have any uh, blue jay. <coughs> Excuse me, so I'm going to use some guinea fowl dyed blue. And I suppose then you could call it a, a variant. You're still sticking with the same colour thing, really. So just bring them out from the stem. And I'm just going to come in and I'm going to pinch both sides of the the feather off and we'll just offer this up underneath the shank of the hook and I just want this much the same length as the haggle the first couple of turns we took I'm just going to pinch and loop it up the way and with a couple of tight turns right, what I like to do at this stage is just spin the vise round and then come in with my nail and just spread out the throat fibres then we'll come in with our scissors, lift our cutting ends down, trim those away. Now we're looking grand at the minute, so we'll just carry our thread on down over the cutting ends and back up. Now at this stage on the Malone version that I tied, what you would do is you would put on your two sides of your built wing. On the O'Reilly version, you just put on that golden pheasant tippet feather. And just, you just offer this up on top and you want the, the tips probably just coming sort of way halfway into the in the encro substitute just hold it on top just come around with a pinch and loop and then a couple of turns now it'll sit high it will sit high naturally just because of the 
the haggle you have on. Don't worry about that, just come in and tighten up. Then you can come in and trim away the excess. Now, I'm just going to come down over the cut ends, nice and tight, with my thread turns here. And back up. Now at this stage you're just going to come in and just tap it out. Just to van it out. And then I'm just going to come in and crease it. Just to get it to sit lower to the shank of the hook. Now we're not looking too bad. The last part is a bronze mallard wing. And I have two wee slips off here. Of the bronze mallard. Just two wee just the right and the left. Just after this up. Now you can have the wing as long as you like. So it's entirely up to you. You just want it longer than the tippet feather. So we'll just offer it up onto the onto the hook. I'll just come in and hold it. Just on the top of the shank of the hook as close as I can get it. Come around with a pinching loop. And then a couple of tight turns. See what way we're sitting. Just have a wee look. Now, I'm happy enough with that. So, I'm just going to come in, hold it tight. Take another few turns just to tighten up on everything. And a good pair of sharp scissors here because bronze mallard is a thick fibre. We'll trim that away. I'm just going to come down over the cut ends of the bronze mallard. It's nice and tight. Excuse my fingers, I just like to hold the hook while I'm tightening up. Nice and tight. Now, as a wee added extra, what you could do is, is just put in horns, if you like. Now, this is just a faber of blue swan dyed blue. So, I'll just come in and well, after the first length up, and I just want it just slightly past the bronze mallard wing and on my side of the the hook. Just tighten up on that. Just make sure it's sitting nice. And then we'll get the next one and we'll offer it on the your side of the wing. You just want it to the the same length. Just tighten up. Spin it back round so you can see the wee fly. Now at this stage I'm just going to come in just gently. Don't want to wreck your, wreck your wing yet. Just come in and hold it. Take another couple of turns down. Just come in and trim away. cut ends of your blue swan. Just gently hold it down to the eye and then you can build up your head. Right. Don't be frightened with the size of the head. Just make sure it's got a nice shape into it. And then you can come in with your whip finishing tool and throw in a whip finish. Just coming back down again, just going to tidy up at the same time. There, pull your thread nice and tight, come in and trim away your thread. Now just like all my salmon flies, I'm going to come in first with a coat of super glue. You do with super glue. Just onto the head and then just right the whole way right round. Let that dry and then hit that with a couple of coats of varnish. And there you go. That's just the, the O'Reilly version. Now if you wanted to tie the proper pattern, just leave off the blue strips of blue swan as horns if you like and put in a blue jay 
um, throat. The camera's not really picking up that blue guinea fur um, at the throat, but it, it is there. So look guys, if you're in the town these stales of flies, and I love sitting town these, um, tie a few of them up. Um, I don't know if this stale of flies would be widely fished anymore for Atlantic salmon, but they work for all the old tamers, so there's no say, there's nothing to say that it wouldn't work for us now. Um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you like the wee videos that I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my channel. Helps the wee channel out, helps it grow. And until next time, folks, stay safe and take lanes. Okay, folks, the next wee pattern up in the channel is this wee wet fly. Just sort of way a bumble type pattern. Okay, folks, the next wee pattern up in the channel is this wee wet fly. Just sort of way a bumble type pattern.